I have been wanting to do this video for the longest time. I can't even tell you. So I made these last Halloween, so Halloween 17. And that was before I started my YouTube channel. So all year I've been like, ah, is it too early? Can I do it yet? Shall I do it yet? Um, but yeah, so finally it's mid-September and I feel like it's a cool time to do a Halloween DIY. So these are um, just decorative pieces that I made last Halloween to decorate the house and fully did not plan on keeping them out all year, but I love them so much, they literally sit on the bookcase, 365. So they are going to be out all year round and I'm happy about that, but I need to tell you how easy, easy these are to make. And you know, people might think they look quite detailed and tricky, but no, 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 they're really, really not. There's absolutely no limit. There's no, you know, there's no rules. So you can just go crazy or you can make them really simple, just like this one, or you know, you can add whatever you want to them. So we're gonna get into the video because I'm just too excited. And um, yeah, I hope you sky, I hope you stay with me. I hope you watch this video all the way through um, just to see how simple this is. So here is what I will be using for this video today. So jars, bottles of any kind. So just for an example here, I've got a bubble bath bottle um, bought, you understand, just for the bottle. I saw it in TK Maxx, it was a gorgeous rose bubble bath and I just saw the bottle and thought Halloween. Um, this is for anyone who might recognize it. I didn't drink it, but it was given to me. Disarono. Um, we have got Home Sense from Next, which had those stick things in them. Obviously, I'll be taking the labels off. We've got a Branston pickle jar. We've got a wine bottle here. We've got a champagne bottle here. And um, these two bottles were given to me last Christmas. Sorry, whoever bought them for me in my secret center. I love them, but I'll never use them. So they are getting sprayed. And this one here is a similar jar to my previous video where I did the mercury glass jar, vase for my friend. This is from the local chip shop. Thank you, local chip shop. Uh, it's a pickled eggs glass jar. So obviously I will be taking all the labels off, but it's just to show you the different kind of jars you can use. I've got bags and bags full of standard jars, you know, pickle jars, jam jars, all of those kind of jars. But for this, I think the, the bottle or the jar needs to be just that bit more quirky than a basic. Um, so yeah, so this is what you'll need similarly to make your videos. The other crucial ingredient is this right here. This has got to be one of the best Rust-Oleum products. Um, it is Rust-Oleum chalkboard paint. It, it literally sprays on like a dream. It's got the best coating, the best finish, and it doesn't scratch off. It doesn't need a top coat, even though I've just filmed this. I don't know why that's there. It's not needed. Um, this, 100% recommend it. It doesn't have to be Rust-Oleum, by the way. You can just, you know, get any brand, but chalkboard paint. So chalkboard paint and your glass jars, the two main ingredients. The rest is really just up to you. I've got a whole assortment of things here that I've gathered over the past few months. So last year I got these cute little plastic skulls. They came white from the Poundland. Uh, Poundland. It's a shop we have here called Poundland. And yeah, they were one pound each. So it is a bit of a, an outlay. But um, yeah, so I didn't have any. So I ordered them off from eBay. They were also around about one pound each, but they came from China. So that took about two months to, for those to arrive. So decorative items, really, I mean, the choice is yours. You know, the world is your oyster when it comes to decorative items. So you will need any form of decorative items for your lids. I've got here some material to wrap over jars. Um, you, I've got a door, I mean, one, I've got one left, one doorknob um, that I, I took off and a chest of drawers, which I've actually used on this one here, but I did like darken it a little bit. Um, bag of bones from Poundland again last year. That's left over because I didn't use the legs. Um, so we've got loads of little things like little crafty bits. 
So there's a shop called The Works in the UK. I don't know if it's anywhere else, but they do lots of different crafty things, um, books, lots of different things in that shop that you can, you know, find little gems. So I've got these gorgeous um, key embellishments, locks and keys. I don't know why. You're not going to be unlocking anything, but, you know, they just look cute around the bottle. If I show you last year's one, I hung a key on this bottle. I just think it looks cute. Um, and we also have a shop here called Wilco's. They also do little craft decorative embellishment bits and bobs. Um, I've got some, I made some hot glue necklaces in a previous video. I just bought a pack of 10 black ropey necklaces. I think they were about two pounds on eBay. Uh, Christmas tree beads, okay? So Christmas tree beads, you really anything goes. Um, just scrap black material. What else have we got? You absolutely will need your hot glue gun. And quite a few sticks. This project, depending on what you do, does use a lot of glue. So you'll need gold and silver paint and obviously scissors and labels. So these are actually printed apothecary. That's the, the name given to a lot of these bottles, witches bottles, medicine bottles, apoth apothecary is what they're called. So if you type in Google um, apothecary bottle labels, hundreds, hundreds on there. So I have already printed these off. I can't separate the pages, but there's such a vast choice on there. And they've all got fabulous things on there, like um, fur of werewolf and um, dead man's fat, yummy, bottled swamp frog. So, yeah, print some off for yourself. They are on Google, so go for it. And any other little bits that you think might look cute um, to stick on. So, you know, pound shop, those spiders that stick to that web. I've got a few here. I've also got this tassel which came wrapped around the bubble bath hello um yeah what else what else do you need that's it really so your glue um i'm using mod podge because i actually can't get the lid off my pva don't judge me i just haven't got the energy or the strength um and a paintbrush to stick your labels onto your bottles what else am i looking at here so ribbons any ribbons tassels you know when you get a pair of trousers and they come with a tassel i never use the tassel i rip them off every time and i just store them because i think i'm going to need them one day i will use them for something one day lace this was not um something i ever wore people this was given to me in a whole box of crafty stuff from my friend said i might be able to use it so yeah lace anything that you think you could decorate these bottles with and that is pretty much all you need. And I said at the beginning, it's a simple process, truly is a simple process. You know, you're gonna spray, you're gonna put the label on, you're gonna add twine. Oh, where's my twine? Okay, you know what twine looks like. You also need twine. I'll have to go and find that now. Twine is, you know, my best friend on this project. So yeah, spray the bottle, add the twine, add your decoration, done. Simple as. Right, step one guys, spray all of your bottles black. Some people don't, some people leave them these natural glass colours, not me. I'm going to do mine all black, so you guys go ahead and do whatever you think is going to work for you. So we're going to go out into the garden and yeah, well ventilated area, follow the instructions on the bottle and spray. <laughs> So I'm also going to spray two of the skulls and leave some of them natural looking um, with the black and those tiny, tiny little bottles that I got from the works. I'm going to spray three of those as well. The other good thing about this spray is it dries super fast. This has been about 10 minutes in the garden and they're all completely dry, apart from the eyes in the skull, but that's absolutely fine. We'll come back to those at the end anyway. So yeah, next step for you guys is your labels. So cut those out. You're going to get your labels and you're going to screw them up. So what we don't want is super clean lines and 
you know, swish new labels. So it's going to go from looking all, you know, fresh and printed to looking a little bit old and worn and battered. Doesn't really matter if they rip at all, but you can see now it's looking dented and creased. That's what you want on the front of the bottle. <laughs> I'm going to go with the big one first. You're going to just use your glue, get a good coating on here. The best thing about Mod Podge, I would say, is that it just it dries clear. So this can get messy, but doesn't matter. Dries clear. All is good. <laughs> Um, so that is the labels done and so we're going to move on to the labels for these but they're not technically going to be labels so I think for this big one here we are going to recreate this dun, dun, dun. guys oh I'm so glad that was <laughs> that was clean <laughs> I didn't even check first so sugar skull mug Okay, gifted to me from my friend last year. This is genius. Wrap the mug in cling, okay? Oh, sorry, shaky camera. Wrap, wrap, wrap. So we're gonna just trace around the skull. One. The next one is also a hot glue creation. This was a bat. Guys, I'm not a fine artist at all. This is, come on, you can see how messy it is. I've got a picture off of Google Images. I traced it onto a piece of baking sheet paper and yeah, traced it with hot glue again. If you look closely, it's messy. It's literally scribbles. I've just layered up the wings to make it look more 3D, if you like. Go for it on here. It can be as neat or as rough as, oh, can you even see that on camera, um, as you like. So you could just go ahead straight away with the hot glue and do this with the hot glue. Um, you don't have to draw it first. But I'm just going to show you this so that you can see. Can you see that? Is that showing up? I'm doing this because some of the bottles are so big, um, my labels are not. So let me hold it up. Can you see that? basic fat yeah and then when you put the hot glue on you're going to wait for it to dry in between layers and layer up the veins those veins you're just going to layer them up yeah so we're just going to go ahead with the hot glue and do that one So that is the first layer dry, you can see it's quite white, so I'm just going to um, go around the edge again and build it up around the edges and the veins of the wings, but the rest I'm just going to leave one layer and that will make it more 3D. So for that final large bottle I'm going to make another label, very similar to this one. Um, this was just a hand-drawn messy star and I used hot glue. I didn't trace anything for this, I just went with it. So I'm gonna make another one but slightly bigger. Um, it's a big bottle that I have to cover. So. This is such a satisfying part for me. So you get, basically when they're all completely dry and they've gone white like this, you just peel them off. So I've taken those hot glue bits outside and I've sprayed them. So while they're drying, we're going to twine everything. So on the jars I made last year, I've put twine at the tops and at the bottoms. It's entirely up to you guys. Um, oh, this one here, I've put quite a lot on the neck of the bottle, not so much at the bottom, but I am going to put twine on every single bottle and jar. So I will speed this up for you guys. You will need your hot glue gun. So you start at the tops of the bottles, just put a dab of hot glue just to hold that first um, bit of twine 
and then just um, wrap it around as, as you want it really. So I'm just going to go around a few times and bring it down the neck and yeah, speed this up and let's go. <laughs> Right, that is all the twine done on all of the bottles so far. I've just left the tops off of these because I'm going to use material to wrap around before the twine. This is what these little guys look like after they've been sprayed and they will be stuck on to the larger bottles. The This bottle here actually came with a stopper so I could just go ahead and put that stopper back on but I'm thinking... Uh, oh my goodness i might use the bottle the bot the doorknob um it fits in there perfectly so that's the first lid to go on so just a dab of hot glue around the edge to secure it in place you can leave lids off if you feel like you're going to use the bottle for any other purpose like candles or you know um storage for anything then by all means um don't hot glue it but that's that's one lid done <laughs> Um, they'll stick real easy with more hot glue so you just want to dab a couple of um, dollops of hot glue just to get it on first get it central get it where you want it and then you can just add hot glue afterwards so once that main body is down just go behind with your hot glue and um, stick the rest <laughs> Now the next step is really just um, gold and silver highlights and decoration. One of my favourites from last year. So um, this comes straight off. This is a, a necklace that I threw on there for decorative purposes. But I can wear it and reuse it if I want it. Um, so you've got a tree here and a graveyard. And you've got web, just webbing. Um, it's quite immature webbing, but um, you get you get the picture. And <laughs> also, might want to do on the other bottles is look at the labels. So some of the labels you might be able to match on the bottle if that makes sense. So for example, this one says fur of werewolf oh it's really top heavy now with that on um fur of werewolf so you could just get some white feathers and stick around the top just to make it look like there's fur inside but this one where is it uh dead man's fat i love this label so dead man's fat um what you could do here which i'm going to show you is underneath the fabric you're going to put some hot glue and let it drip down and then when it when it actually gets to the point of um, cooling, it goes white, almost like opaque in colour. So it will actually look like there's fat dripping from the jar. So think about your labels and think about whether you want to actually make it look like it's got that inside. <laughs> decorated all of your jars you want to basically highlight so you're going to get a sponge and dab real light on all of the highlighted areas all of the um, bits that are coming out guys seriously what's the word and yeah it will bring these bottles to life I'm going to go ahead with a little bit more hot glue um, decoration on some of them I'm going to put some wording <laughs> Okay, so the gold and silver step is here. You can use any colours you want. I just think gold and silver makes it pop. 
I haven't put hot glue on all of them. So the ones I have, I will bring forward. And then you're going to get your gold and silver paint. I've got these one pound each from the craft store. And I'm just gonna put a dollop onto a piece of foil and um, yeah, dab away. So I'm gonna pour a bit, oh, okay, a lot onto the foil. And then I'm gonna get a sponge I'm actually a bit lazy. I've got craft sponges upstairs, but I'm going to use a dish sponge just because, you know, there's a lot of stairs. <laughs> collection anyone would think I like Halloween so that's it that's the gold and the silver done the highlighting done everything done and really the last stage is decorative items just a few decorative things so I've got the little bottle on the string the tassel that came with my bubble bath um, another random key and a bottle don't ask me why it looks great a bigger key and um, skeleton's hand and I must show you this OMG, best buy. So this is a chocolate making silicone kit that I found on eBay. And I'm gonna pop them out because they're all dry. Ugh. Hello people. Right, okay. Let me put them where you actually might be able to see them in my hand. I don't know if you can see that, hold on. Let's have a look. Look at the detail on those little skulls. Oh, so I'm going to squeeze this right in the middle of that film quickly. Um, the spiders. So these are the spiders that come with the cobweb. That you know, the horrible cobweb stuff. So I'm going to stick these on. I'm going to cut off the back bits. Those ring bits. Just because they get in the way. And yeah, I'm going to cut a few of those off. And stick those on the twine of the necks of the bottles. Love it. Last year's bottles which by the way took me days. I didn't do them as quick as these ones. This year's bottles, all for decorative purposes. Last year's, I'm gonna show you this one, storage. Could be a cookie jar, but it lives on my shelf, so it's not. Love, 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 absolutely love. I hope you guys have enjoyed. You can go to town, you can do a lot more with these bottles, um, but yeah, video to show you. I'm so excited for Halloween. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I truly hope I haven't sent any of you to sleep. If you've just skipped to the end to see the end product, hello, welcome, welcome to my channel. Thank you and enjoy.